Hey everybody, welcome back to the dojo. Today we're playing the new John Wick game. Ha! Prepare to die! Prepare to die, motherfucker! Jeff, what are you doing? I'm not I'm not regular Jeff, I'm Jeff Wick! You killed my dog! You killed my wife! You killed my wife's my dog wife! My wife's dog! You killed my dog and now it's time to die, motherfucker! Jeff, your dog's over there. Huh. Well then I'm gonna shoot you for taking my car! You gotta give me back my car, man! You took my car and I want it back! I want my super great Jeff Wick car back! Give me back my car! Jeff, your car's parked over there. Huh. Well, hey man, I, I'm on a quest for revenge. Just work with me here. Just, just, hey, just say you killed my dog, all right? Say you killed my dog so we can do the skit. I'm not, I'm not saying any of those things. <sighs> all right. Matt Frank! Matt Frank, you're gonna die for killing my dog! Ah! All right, Michael, are you ready to are you ready to kill everyone and everything and everyone and everything and also everyone? This is that Jonah Hex game, right? No, that's that's a different that's a different game. This is John Wick Hex. I'm so happy. Uh, welcome everybody back to the dojo. I'm Jeff. And I'm Mike. Uh, I'm so happy, Michael, that somebody's finally made like a tie-in game to something, anything that's not like a phone game or like stupid. So. Oh my God, my eyes just, <laughs> <laughs> look at that pink screen for like 10 minutes now. Um, so yeah, this is John Wick Hex came out today and uh, we're gonna check it out. So I've actually already played a little bit of this, um, but I skipped all the cutscenes. Dun, dun, dun. So, oh, it's a prequel. Okay, fair enough. Yeah, this is where you play Naked Snake or whatever. Yeah. Indeed. Oh. Fuck. Fuck. He's well, been demonetized, so. <laughs> Surely you that happened in all 10 seconds. Would not go Is that the guy? Sure. Yeah, that's, um... Uh, I forgot the actor's name. <laughs> well, he's the guy in charge of the hotel or whatever, right? Yeah. I didn't think they dispersed the devil. I presume our prison... So it's like they could get these two guys, but they couldn't get... No. Get, uh, uh, no, Keanu? <laughs> well, do we know that he's actually the voice, though? Oh, that's a good question. Because it could be like that Terminator situation where it looks like Arnold, but is a really bad impression. I mean, we all know that if somebody, if they, if they make a model that looks like Keanu Reeves, Keanu Reeves has to voice it. Like, you can't just get Nolan North to come in and do a Keanu Reeves impression. That's, that's stupid. Did he do it for Path of Neo? Uh, I have no idea. I have to look that up later. I feel like that? They, oh, yeah. Yeah, I did. I beat that whole thing. Yeah. Me too. So this guy kidnapped these guys. You have a higher purpose. Okay. I so he super oh. kidnapped them. Oh, hey, look at that. Ooh, ooh, it's an that's earthquake. One, uh, that's when Ted S. Ted Esquire showed up. <laughs> Ted Theodore Logan? Yeah. He's not being as excellent to these guys as I would have expected, though. Like, <laughs> I thought he would be a little bit more excellent. Uh, to each other? Yeah. So, yeah. This is John Wick Hex. Uh, actually, I wonder, is there a... Kind of like turn off the tutorial because I already know how the tutorial. There we go. Boom, 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 boom. All right. So uh, basically, it, it's this is really interesting. Like a lot of people have said that like the the like super hot meets uh, XCOM, and I kind of I kind of can see that. So uh, basically, the way that it works is uh, like everything stops when you're not moving. And then you have this weird timeline that at the top that kind of shows what all is going to happen. Oh, that's interesting. Uh, and at the bottom, you have uh, you start with you got your 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 spiffy John Wick gun and a few bandages, and then you've got this thing called focus that lets you do stuff like that takedown move that I just did. And uh, you're basically just trying to move kind of from one side of these map of uh, this map to the other. Oh, this is the wrong direction. Uh, oh, so it opens up when you're going the right way, kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's it's. So let's see. I think this guy, I don't think he sees me. Uh, I don't know if I can get close enough. Oh, no. He's going to... Definitely sees you. Ah, uh, fuck. I kind of wish there was an un, an un, uh, a undo move. Oh. Yeah, okay. He, she shot, <laughs> shot me. Shot you in the so ass. Just shoot, just shoot him. <clears throat> so, uh, like, these little areas here are where guys will spawn from. Uh, oh, okay. Which is interesting because it means that, like, you know, it's not just taken out... A certain number of guys. So like, here comes another guy. I'm gonna try to get a little close. One of the big things. Um, all right, fuck it. I'll just shoot him. No oh, jeez. <laughs> is uh, now one thing that you can do because like this guy is probably gonna get at me. Uh, so you can hit this button to like change stances, and when you're uh, crouched, you can roll, uh, which kind of can take you out of the oh, that's the cool. line of fire. Um, 
it's a real kind of interesting. You can also throw your gun, which you can see this down here is like their, uh, uh, it's like their power meter. And so if you do that, they're like stunned. So oh, cool. uh, one of the things that's interesting is that um, uh, one of the interesting things is that your gun, like the John Wick gun, is way better. And like once you have one, you have one extra magazine, and this gun has 15 shots. But after that, you just have to start picking up other people's guns. Um, there's no way to pick up ammo, as near as I can tell. Oh, okay. Uh, and the thing is that all of the magazines and all of the all of the health packs go through like. Oh, it's got a replay as well. Yeah, go through that entire level. So like we started here, we've got to go through all of these to get to the end. So that's one of the reasons why I was a little bit. I, I try to do melee whenever possible, just to save the the good gun, oh, right? Okay. Um, eventually, you're gonna have to. Oh shit. Oh, shit. Uh, so here you can actually see that, like, see at the top, he's going to shoot, and then I'm going to get shot. And you can see that, like, the throw gun is faster than shooting. Yeah. Um, so I'm just going to do that since I'm already going to get shot. Oh, he uh, missed. No, I, I hit him. No, he missed. Oh. Because you didn't get shot. Oh, fuck. Oh, god damn it. Oh, boy. Also, I've been doing a lot of, like, so you can also push people um, that'll stun them to kind of, like, get Jesus. out of the way of stuff. <laughs> They're um, everywhere. The problem here is that I need a gun now. Ow. Um, I think I'm going to fuck this one up nice and proper. Yep. I think I'm just going to, like, I'm just going to restart this. Don't, don't, don't. <laughs> uh, I've been doing that a lot because, I mean, like, I don't know. It goes pretty quickly, and it's easier to, like, a lot of times it's easier to, oh, yeah, this exact same fucking thing that happened to me last time, didn't it? You going to well, throw it again? <laughs> No, I'm just gonna shoot him. There isn't really like a cover mechanic, which I find really strange. Like you can kind of get behind things, but the way you take cover is you just kind of like go into cover and then go out of cover. Um, that is interesting. Which I kind of expected there to be a little bit more, uh, a little bit more in the in the way of, um, I don't know, like action. I'm so fascinated that this is the John Wick game we got. Okay, so let me just let's take down, put myself on top of where the gun is, pick the gun back up. So, so long, losers. Yeah, it's interesting. Be I, I like I honestly, it's weird to me that um, that the John Wick game isn't a shooter, right? <laughs> like or just like a third person shooter. Kind yeah, of thing? yeah. Oh fuck! Oh my god. <laughs> Like, I could see a John Wick game, like, playing, like, a Max Payne game kind of thing. Oh, oh 100%. Like, but, but then we got this, and that's fascinating to me. The only thing is that, I mean, I've actually seen some uh, some reviews of this that are kind of like, that it's a little, it's a little basic, uh, because kind of what you're seeing right here is kind of what you do, like, for most of the game. I'm going to go ahead and reload. Um... So I'm almost out of bullets for the good gun. Oh, oh fuck. shit! <laughs> so sometimes you can just kind of back up, and then see here. I'm gonna. So you can see when I shoot, it's gonna go just a little bit before they do, so that uh, shooting them should stun them. And then let's see. Yeah, I knew that was gonna happen. Um, Bam. But I'm pretty good on bandages right now, so I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna keep moving out of here. But yeah, it's not exactly... Oh, yeah, you don't actually replay the level. This is like you can watch yourself play the entire level. No, I figured that's what it was for. So you could like watch a, a really bad <laughs> John Wick movie where John Wick kind of sucks at this. And John Wick's <laughs> just like, oh, wait, did I, did I forget my key? Oh, no, oh, no, 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 yeah, no, I got to okay. go back and go grab away. it. No, oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, 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 here's this guy. Whoops, oh, oh, oh. all right, got shot. <laughs> all right, let's go over here. See what's going on. See, you grab this pick, thing Pick up some garbage. Here. I get shot and... Nope. Okay. No matter what we got it's over here. It's kind of neat, though. Yeah, it's all right. I kind of wish that they, like, I I wish that they, when they had decided to do this, that they would have smoothed out the replay a little bit instead of having him walk so much on the grid. Like, kind of just interpolate, you know? Well, also, the way he turns around kind of looks like he's <laughs> flailing. Yeah. He's just like, oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, God. So, uh, but it's, this is kind of what the game is. And it's not, like, especially long, but it's also, you know, it's 20 bucks. So. That's not bad, considering Edgar's the type of game it is. Pleasant, if I recall correctly. 
Who among our kind are uh, so you can also do a parry, which is really fast. It just like stuns people. Speak for yourself. Um, you live by a code. There are rules. True. Bam. And then these guys, you can see that you've st they started introducing. These are just melee guys. Oh. Which is interesting because I feel like it gives you an opportunity to, um, uh, to save bullets. You can also hit wait just to get them close enough to do, uh, to do like a melee attack. One of my other favorite things, though, is you see you've got this like focus meter, and you can do what's refocus to get your focus meter back. Oh. But what it is is he just like shakes his head. <laughs> <laughs> so it's a little, it's a little funny. That's kind um, of amazing. So I also kind of wonder. It's like this game doesn't have controller support, and it's only on the PC. There's just there's a lot of limitations to it. Like it's not bad or anything, but it's just kind of it's different than what I would have thought. Uh, One hundred percent. Like when they announced this. I think we talked about it on the podcast the first time, and I was like, "What is this? <laughs> like, how is this the game that they decided would be, you know, John Wick?" Which is still fascinating to me. I mean, yeah, it's not like a phone game, and it's not a. You say it could be a, a phone some game. kind of shooter. Well, it's a little more complicated, I think, to be exactly a phone game. Yeah, kind of thing. Like, it, it seems just enough that a phone would probably have an issue with how it controls. Use a bandage here. Oh, here comes another melee guy. Uh, uh, let's just punch him. Stop it. <laughs> <laughs> just punch him again. There you go. Get out of here. Uh, yeah, it's really fast. It's also the, like, the all Tell the Genghis Khan I sent you. <laughs> the whole color palette is so weird. Like, it's just so strange. Even the, um, oh, fuck. Uh, if I duck, that was uh, yeah, <laughs> I didn't. That didn't do anything. Um, that was worth a shot. Get it? Never mind. See, I've only got <laughs> oh, I've only got four shots left in the good gun. I'm gonna have to. Okay, so I'm gonna have to switch over to enemy guns now. Oh fuck. Okay, that's not gonna be fast enough. Set up a little. Uh, we get Man behind wish. this desk. And wait, There's a lot of dudes. Shoot! Wait, what was that? Oh, it's just oh fuck! I didn't realize there was weird. a guy down here too. Oh, you didn't see him? No. Uh, it's all weird and the other game's silly now. Weird. Oh my god! Um, this is a problem. This is uh, <laughs> this turned. Turned immensely. Well, let's see. If I shoot, nope. That's that's before. I wonder if I. Can you throw a gun at the guy that left? And then I can open this door and try to roll out. That's a good idea. Oh. Yeah. Oh. Nope. Nope. Just got shot to crap, and I'm out of focus. All right. Well, I just. <sighs> Everything always ends up going shitty eventually. <laughs> It was, um, it was uh, that, that could have gone better. <laughs> yeah. But that's, I mean, I was playing it earlier today, and that was one of the things where it was like. Jesus, uh, everybody's just everywhere. Take you take you down. Take you downtown. Go to a show. That oh. guy wasn't even a mobster. He was just a waiter. Can I take your order? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, come on. Shoot him. Just shoot him. Yeah, they look like waiters. <laughs> I feel really bad. A lot of them do, yeah. <laughs> It's kind of bizarre. Um, I'm not a big. I'm not the biggest fan in the world. I don't know. I mean, I guess it's kind of like part of what the, of what the movie is, and it does add an extra layer of like, um, of of. You don't kinda, have to shoot every single one. Of them. I gotta shoot every one of them. This is John Wick, Michael. Come on. Like you can walk outside. No. It's gonna be more of them. Well, that's the what. That's the thing is that a lot of times when you when you if you get too close to the end and there are people by you, yeah. See. I can't actually leave because there's still Maybe enemies. Who's there? Um, I don't know. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just hang out by this car. I'm gonna refocus real quick. Uh, yeah. There we go. <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> then he ran. <laughs> ah, shit! Take a real good shot on that one. Ah. Fine. Oh, God Still damn it. Locked. There's more of them? Oh, here's another one. Yeah. That's why you got to shoot everybody. 
Okay, can I leave now? That's pretty bad. <laughs> I got like two bullets and like, I, I do still have some bandages, which is okay. It could have gone better. It also is a little weird the way that the, the um, like the angle of the camera uh, kind of makes everything a little bit harder to tell like where the individual, because it's a hex based grid, right? That's why he moves like that. Why he like does that little zigzaggy thing. Um, exactly. So it's a little, it's a little strange sometimes to know exactly where you can go Let's see, just get some health back here. Um, but you know what? It kind of reminds me of like, I don't know, something like um, maybe like Into the Breach, right? I can see that. Um, shoot. Okay. The Hammers of Justice are unisex. <laughs> what? <'Cause, laughs> never mind. That's an old reference. Oh. <laughs> or not that old, but yeah. Grab your grab your gun. Um, I don't know what is it. What are your general feelings about John Wick? I I really like the first one a lot. Mm -hmm. The second one I think is a little strange because the first one feels like a very personal kind of story. Yeah, and then after that it becomes what I thought the first one was going to be, <laughs> kind of thing, where they start focusing a lot more on the the weird the the world of assassination yeah cause, uh, like i still think it's like they're fine like after, like i don't i don't think i don't have that much of a problem with it per se yeah but it's just one of those things where it's like well you know i kind of like the whole personal like stakes kind of thing where it eventually it became you know the, the huge like weird action kind of thing i don't know like it's hard to explain on that part of it i guess if that makes sense uh no i get it like, uh, i still like them though Oh, but, Jesus. Yeah. Lord Almighty. But, yeah, it was once they were like, well, it's not a trilogy. It's going to be, you know, there's going to be another one. I was like, well, I was kind of hoping it would just be this trilogy thing because I'm, I'm worried you're going to thin it out too much. Yeah. And did you did you see Parabellum? I did not. Um, I heard good things, though. It's okay. It just, it gets in, it, again, it continues down the line. I, I guess that's the whole thing about John Wick, right? Was that, yeah. like, I kind of had one idea of what this... I didn't really think that it needed to be like a whole franchise thing. I like, didn't really either. Like the first one, it's it's such a great little character study of this like guy who just wants revenge after you know his peaceful life didn't pan out. Yeah, kind of thing. And oh and they now didn't they just announce there's going to be like a um, a spinoff or something? Oh, I don't know. A ballerina or some shit. Oh, I have no idea. I I just saw that on my my. Uh, Facebook feed not too long ago, but I didn't really look into it. Um, yeah, I don't know. I guess it's I guess it's fine, and I guess I mean it is nice to have like a movie franchise that's an action franchise that's not either the Fast and the Furious or the Marvel movies out there. But it like, is like one of the nicer things about it, uh, and people really like Keanu Reeves again. Yep, which I'm really glad about because I've always liked Keanu Reeves. You were you were when everybody was uh, when the Keanu hate was on. You were still holding the torch. Yeah, because, you know, like he made the, what was it, Seven Ronin? And, oh, yeah. And everyone's like, oh, Keanu Reeves' career is over. And I'm like, fuck you guys. Keanu Reeves can come back from this shit. Well, what was so weird was that I never would have guessed that, like, you know, Bill S. Prest, or no, uh, Ted Theodore Logan and uh, Neo from The Matrix, that, like, after those movies, they would go to, he, he just was doing, like, romantic movies right like he did a lot of them yeah like like a weird one with sandra bullock i think it was sandra bullock the one with the uh, the time traveling male or whatever oh yeah, is that the the lake house the beach house yeah the lake house i think is what it was oh my god oh my god there's they're a guy sending, right fucking behind me uh, they're sending mail to each other oh, or whatever ow, fuck like through space time or whatever it's fucking weird i didn't watch it i generally don't tend to watch romantic comedies i just or... remember the trailer for it and i'm just being like this looks stupid <laughs> Uh, but I hope I hope it's fine because I like Keanu. But I never watched it. But I, I remember meaning to just to see like what weird. I don't like. I don't even know how that movie ends. I assume they get together, but I have no idea how. Time travel. Man. It's not like he can mail himself. You did. Oh, so you never watched it? You didn't see the part where Doc Brown shows up and he's like, "We gotta go back 
Theodore. No, it's <laughs> when the bill shows up and is like, we, I, I'm going to help you get Sandra, lay Sandra Bullock or whatever. Oh, yeah. I don't know why I felt the need to add another time travel movie. <laughs> yeah. when there was totally a there was thing. One there. <laughs> there was one right the fuck there. Like, uh, yeah. That's why I was surprised by that. I was like, sure, why not? Let's get so let's get all the crossovers in here. Yeah. And then Doctor Who showed up and uh, that was weird. But it was that American movie one yes. and that got awkward. <laughs> Peter Weller. Yeah, exactly. Uh, was that? No, was that it? wasn't, no, that wasn't, wasn't Peter Weller. Weller. It was, um, ah, oh, fuck, now I don't remember. I know who it was, but I can't remember. There was name, like, was Doctor Who. I can't remember Oh, anymore. I forgot this was the first level, and they're giving me, like, hella, uh, hella, uh, 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 health. Let's just wait for it. Wait for it. And then take him down. I also can't tell if there's, like, an element to this game where, like, oh, shit. <laughs> Um, I can't tell if there's an element to this game where, like, if you wait, it, it, as long as you aren't shooting, if there's, like, a stealth, and then you break stealth. I don't think there is, though. Like, I don't get the impression. It seems like all the enemies just kind of know exactly where you are all the time, and they're kind of coming for you. So um, it still it moves along at a pretty nice clip, right? Um, uh, and I am happy to see something. Again, you know, they did have a VR game. They had an HTC. They had a Vive game that was for John Wick. Oh, really? But, like, it was like, why would you take this huge franchise and then make a VR game out of it? Oh, boy. Uh, ow. All right. Okay, let's come over here. Over here. Oh, shit. Okay, so this is a boss. Uh, this is, like, the boss for this level. And he's got this thing where, like, when you shoot, hit your uh, chance to hit is really low because of his this power meter. So the first thing that you have to do is, like, um, get that power meter down. So push always, uh, like, stuns them, uh, which I find good because it means that then you can, like, do a takedown and just fucking beat him up on the ground. And now that he's all the way down, I can actually shoot him. Uh, don't hide from me. There's nothing back there, you mook. Come on. There we go. Up and I guess there's a guy named Paul McGann. Oh, well, that was the... Yeah, okay. I thought we were talking about the the uh, the Dalek movie that they made like back in the 80s or whatever. But Oh, well, there's that too, I guess. Uh, I, it, Paul McGann's British though, right? I guess. I, what was the other one that was? I, I think I, th I might have been thinking of the other one too. I don't know. That's just what Google showed me. Yeah. Uh, there was a, an old thing that I, wa I read. It was like a webcomic where it's like, if you could hang out with Batman, Superman... And Doctor Who, but they're all the worst versions of that guy specifically. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if it was like George Clooney, Batman, and like for some reason, I can't remember which Superman it was, but I think it was Dean Cain because people didn't like Dean Cain for some reason. Okay. And and then that, and then the, the whatever American Doctor Who it was, is like, would you hang out with those guys? It's like, would you? <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's still Batman, Superman, Doctor Who. <laughs> I would hang out with them because I just want to hang out with Dean Cain, Superman, because I actually like that character. But I remember seeing that, like, that was, like, the the gag. There was, like, the Catch-22. Who's so. the, which Superman was Dean Cain Superman? Uh, the Lois and Clark uh, oh. Adventures one. I thought people liked that show. I did, too. It's just, I guess, like, whoever wrote, whoever drew that comic did not. But at the time, there wasn't really any other Supermen that were considered bad, I guess. Because it was just, like, the three of them, I think, at that point. Okay. When I read, when I read that comic. never been shy in this matter. All declare fealty. All must be of service. But yeah, that would be really awkward. Maybe not all. all kind of like if it's like, yeah, you get to hang out with Daredevil, but it's Ben Affleck there, Daredevil. <laughs> That's fine. I'm fine with that. I'm like, yeah, I'm let's see how that. this goes. <laughs> them flat. People get very picky over their weird things like that. <laughs> I feel like this virtual camera needs to, like, focus. Can you get this guy in frame, please? <laughs> like, It is a little weird. So this guy is Hex. That's That's the bad guy's name is Hex. Yeah. He's got an awesome beard. And I, is that why you plucked his on route? An attempt to demonstrate... So he kidnapped these guys to get back at the high table? Yeah, he okay. he wants to show that he's a badass. Okay. Look, uh, there's a badass here. He's uh, he sure does, He's sure doing a lot of talking. Why does he just shoot him and then be done with it? Instead of like waiting for John Wick to kill everybody in New York City again. They will hunt you down. 
Do they? Do you think, think after John Wick goes John on a Wick. rampage that like the mob has to like fly people in from other states and countries to like re up because there's so much? They're just Absolutely. Like, uh, I feel like that's how Max Payne games ends as well. They call back to like Romania and they're just like, all right, send like 500 people. I guess I don't know. Just uh, who, who do you have? Who do you have? Norman Osborn? Osborn? Yeah, or Harry Osborn because he's oh. lame. <laughs> I guess, you know, the one thing that I would have liked to see more of in this game is more like kind of like I like because, OK, you're going to see that in between like before you start a level, depending on how well you did in the last level, it's like you get these these little upgrades that you can buy. So I've oh, got okay. 10 of these pieces and this is increases the range of your push attack by two. Moving penalty on incoming shot attacks is increased, lowering enemy hit chance, and then dodge costs one less focus point. So I'm going to pick these two. Uh, but the thing is that these aren't permanent. And I feel like oh. as you play through the game, you unlock more of these. And it does say that like you can't save coins between levels. I think I would have liked to have seen more of like a progressional upgrade system to let you do more of the kind of like bombastic, I don't know, punch a gun into another guy to stun him briefly type of thing or like you Yeah, know. that kind of destroys the whole like the super hot um kind of comparison I feel because of the not being able to do all the insane insane shit because of it. Yeah. Which uh, is a shame cuz that kind of makes it would have made this a little more interesting. Um uh, Yeah. So, it's okay. I mean, like I like I, like I said, uh let's do this and then take down Wah. Take that, waiter. Do a flip, lady waiter. <laughs> All right. So let's see what we can do here. I had a lot of trouble with this level, I feel like, the first time that I played it. I think I was trying to not shoot it. I was trying to conserve my ammo too much. There we go. Let's just shoot this motherfucker. <laughs> As he comes out of the door. Uh, there we go. Take down. Shake down. You busted. Um, Suck it. Mm, I think there's somebody else in that room. Speaking of movie games. Yeah. I beat the Ghostbusters uh, remastered. The hell you say. Yeah. Uh, I beat it uh, yesterday. Oh, Sunday. It's only like your favorite game of all time. I love right? that game. It's, it's easily one of my favorite games. Absolutely. And, oh, uh, crap. Yeah, it's... um. It's it's pretty good still. Like it's, uh, they said that the multiplayer is gonna get patched in later. Okay. So I'm interested in what's gonna happen with that. Uh, as well as it turns out, the DLC suit stuff mm -hmm. is an is was turned into an unlockable instead. Okay. So if you beat the game on normal, you get the the Ghostbusters two jumpsuit. And if you beat it on hard, you get a gold proton pack. Okay. Which used to be a um, uh, a pre order bonus originally. All right. So I think that's uh, pretty cool. Shit. Oh, it has a lot of weird issues here. Or not issues, but weird weird choices. Like, you know how, like, when a game starts, it always has, like, the the name of the companies or whatever? Yeah. Completely silent videos of huh. the names of the companies. Even though, like, the original game had sounds for certain ones of them yeah. that's still in there, completely silent. Maybe, just, they could, maybe they couldn't get the rights to the jingle for the company that made the game. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> well, one of them is just the sound of the trap and, like, something getting caught or whatever huh. inside of it. And my only other... And it's not really an issue so much as I, I kind of am slightly disappointed by it, is that the Ghostbusters theme doesn't play during the loading screen yeah, the way it used to. But it does load faster, so it's probably part of it. Okay. That's but, cool. Uh, I don't know. Game. If you could if you could get, like, a movie based on based on if you get a game based on a movie like what what movie do you think that you would like to see a game based on that's a tough one especially uh, nowadays i mean at first my my standard answer for a long time was was uh like the marvel and the avengers stuff right but yeah i guess they're making that 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 one game that um oh shit that certainly took a while um they're making the Square game, right? So that's kind of a thing now. Yeah, because there has been movie games based on certain franchises already that weren't all that great, kind of like the Fast and the Furious. I know it had a game. At oh, one point. man. Fast and Furious would be such a such a good game. Like yeah, Hobbs and Shaw would be a great game. Yeah, you know? actually, that just would be pretty cool. Driving around, doing stuff. 
The problem is that they would give it to somebody, and then they'd be like, well, it's got to be open world. And, you know, it's got to... Also, we can't use Paul Walker or anything. It's got to have microtransactions. You can have all the microtransactions. It's got a, a Dom Wig DLC for some reason. Oh, God damn it. Though that version of the story leaves out a few unfortunate accidents. Accidents. Uh, Rooftop falls, dislocated limbs, gunshot wounds. I'm not sure. Yeah, like I'm thinking about it. Like especially games or movies nowadays. Is there somebody else in here? Another Godzilla game would be nice. Like a Godzilla game that was a little bit more that wasn't just like playing uh, WWE 2K19 in slow motion. Yeah, <laughs> that would be nice. <laughs> And 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 they yeah they made a phone game as well I remember at one point two of them actually I always thought that um uh that Godzilla would make for like this style would actually be really good for Godzilla right where it was like just kind of a weird chess turn based thing instead well, of an action thing kind of something like that for the Super Nintendo years ago it was like a grid like this giant like city grid and you like moved him around but it wasn't like you know like turn by turn kind of thing yeah it was just a little weird like it's it's a weird one but it wasn't too bad but yeah it still had that sort of same issue about like the way once you get him fighting something is where he gets the weird issue with it i want to make a suspiria game a suspiria game yeah where you've got to dance it's like a, it's a rhythm <laughs> game it's like a dance game it's, it's like dance, dance it's, revolution well i i would be more like it would be cooler if it was more like um not elite beat agents but uh that, you know that you know what I'm talking about that type of game. Yeah, yeah, T Asuta Tekio and Don. Yeah, exactly. Uh, yeah, that would be fucking awesome. That's what I, that's what I would do. It's funny. I was on the the what the gathering over at one of us, and I I said that I liked Suspiria the movie, and <laughs> my apparently my taste in movies confuses people because I was just like, yeah, I liked it. It was cool. I did like it was like, ah, but it didn't have. A lot of fast action, and I'm just like, well, but it was good. I don't I like. Well, they didn't I, like the remake, where you or didn't, or not that they didn't like the remake, but you liked it more than they did. Oh yeah, if I, I remember correctly. I thought the remake was fine. I liked it quite a bit. Uh, I didn't even realize it until I watched. I think it was like the Red Letter Media thing that the guy in that movie, the old man, is also Tilda Swinton, and I'm yeah. just like, oh, Tilda Swinton plays everybody. Okay, yeah, do it. Uh, all right. You know, there could be a really cool Blade game. Oh yeah, Blade would make for a great game. Like there was a Game Boy Advance, a Game Boy Color game actually. Oh, um, Blade it, one? Yeah, it was not great. <laughs> I yeah. Um, I mean, the thing is that I still don't understand why they're like. I, I'm hoping that um, that this uh, that the Jedi Fallen Order kind of changes this streak, but I feel like a lot of the Star Wars games have been kind of bad for a while now. They've been either bad or just like meh. I mean, even the Force Unleashed, which is fine, isn't like stupendous or anything. Like Battlefront like, 1 for the PS4, of the, or at least of the EA ones. The PS3? Oh, oh no. Oh, you're talking about the, the about reboot? The EA ones. Yeah, yeah. The reboot ones. That one, that one I had a lot of fun with, but it was at the end of the day, it was there wasn't a lot to do after you do certain things enough times. Yeah. And then the sequel, you know, that f shit the bed pretty bad because of all the but Michael, they put in a single player campaign. God, Didn't you like the single so player bad. campaign? It's so bad. You know what also be good? Star Trek. I feel like there's never really been a good Star Trek game. I remember that last Star Trek game they made. The one that was based on the 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 uh, Michael or not the Michael? I almost said Michael Bay. The JJ Abrams reverse. Yeah, the with Chris Chris Pine and Zachary Quinto. Yeah, that the, game. The one that was based on the first one of those. That one was so bad. Where it's supposed to be like a co-op shooter, like a co-op third-person shooter. Yeah, there's Kirk and Spock. It was really bad from what I remember. Because one time in that movie, Kirk and Spock have like a gunfight, and so let's make an entire game that's like a cover-based Kirk and Spock shooter. Yeah. Yeah, and they fight the lizards or whatever. The I forget Gorn. The, name of the, the Gorn. Yeah, they yeah. fight the Gorn for some reason. It's like neat, I guess. I remember it being really bad, though. Okay, shoot. Like, everyone hated it. It's not like a child. <laughs> he dropped his toy. That's it. The guy coming right at you. It's fine. I'm gonna take him down. So you can see that, like, it does kind of get a little repetitive after a while, right? Is it yeah, just, I can see that. You're just kind of doing the same thing. And in a lot of ways, it, a lot of it just kind of depends on... Jesus. Uh, <laughs> um... <laughs> Like there's a lot of, oh, fuck. there's a lot of elements that they've added in here to like you know try to spice stuff up, but you know, it it plays more like a very very slim rule set game. Oh shit! 
There's like three guys in here. Okay, cool. None of them saw me. Let's roll and shoot. Now, oh, come on, you dork. I really like the Evil Dead games, actually. Did you ever play any of those? Uh, I never did. I liked Evil Dead, but I was never like um, as big of a fan of it as I feel like a lot of people that I knew were. Oh, shit. That's fair. Yeah, there was three of them that they made. Uh, two of them connected, and then the third one was like oh an alternate reality. Yeah. Because yeah, cause the, the first two... Because the first the first one was... Um, oh, what was the name of it? Fuck, I'm going to die. It was for the, the PlayStation 1 and the Dreamcast. And um, it was it played like Resident ah. Evil 1 and 2. Yeah. With tank controls and everything. Except it had a... Um, it had a quip button. So if you killed an enemy and you did a quip at the same time, it gave you a better item when they died. <laughs> okay. That's pretty cool. I mean, you know... Uh, it actually played like fairly like a, well. Like a glory kill type of thing, yeah, almost? Kind of. Uh, it, played, it played fairly well, considering, because, yeah, it was just Resident Evil. But, like, for some reason, you had to make the gasoline to your chainsaw sometimes. It's very strange. Hmm. Um, but it was a lot of fun. Uh, the second one was... Uh, uh, face full of boomstick, I think was the name of it. Fist full of, fist full of, of boomstick. boomstick. Yeah, and that one played a little. I remember that one. That one wasn't too bad. It it, it played pretty decently, but it, it was very contingent on like you doing everything correctly to get the good ending, mm -hmm. which was a little a little like weird kind of thing. Because it's like to do this, you have to get this, and to do this, you have to get this kind of thing. And so I had to follow a guide to play that one correctly. I hate it when games do that. Yeah, that was my only issue with that game. Hey, you know what? Here, you can have this. It's empty. And the third one, I don't remember the name of the third one, but oh, it was God. a PS2 Xbox game. But yeah. that was like a hack and slash game. And it takes place in a world where if Ash wasn't sucked into the the army of darkness uh, point, yeah. and instead he's arrested for the murder of his friends <laughs> and thrown <laughs> in an insane asylum. Okay. And so uh, for some reason, the doctor who's in charge of the insane asylum gets a hold of the Necronomicon uh. and summons the evil dead. And so it's just this hack and slash shooter. Ah, crap, Ola. The, with this, like, there's this like little person that's like disfigured that's voiced by Sam Raimi's brother, yeah. Ted Raimi. Okay. Who plays like the comedic relief. It's a very strange game. You know, I feel like Bloodborne would be a pretty good Evil Dead game, right? Because you, oh, you, you got a gun and then you've got like, uh, uh, like mostly melee, mostly this like super overpowered melee, but then also you've got this weird gun that you can only use a little bit, so... All right, all right. It's I could definitely see it being like very similar to that the fistful of boomstick because it has that sort of thing. All right, let's see if I can get out of this. This opening area is really whooping my ass. I think I remember having problems with this uh, when I was playing it earlier today as well. But we are going like super fast in it too. Yeah, I guess it's one of the other one of the other things is that when you start to get because there's not, I don't because I don't feel like the there's a shitload of um like tactical consideration almost it's like i feel like i'm kind of encouraged to just like keep moving keep moving the game along um it's kind of hard to actually. like set up set up uh like ambushes or things like that this is the guy no i want to shoot the gun guy I, mean, I have a low chance to hit okay let's move it back back um, it up back it up <laughs> let me get behind this table how many shots do I have? You should be fine. Let's shoot this guy. And I got two shots. Ah, oh, God, and all that's left is that crappy revolver. Uh, this revolver takes so long to aim um, that, like, if you spot somebody and then you guys both go to shoot each other at the same time. Yeah. Well, that's supposed to be, like, a one-shot kill kind of thing, though. Yeah. Ow. Fuck. All right. Either this is going to work or... Okay. Hey, maybe I should use a bandage. How about that? <laughs> Probably a good idea. How about how about not die this time? Check, just get, right. just get your head in the game. Yeah. I'm going to try to get through here and then probably wrap it up. I don't know. I mean, like, I, I, I was, uh, you know, I was really excited kind of to play this. Uh, I kind of thought there would be a little bit more meat on them, their bones, though. Um, you know, a lot of John Wayne movies would make really good games. Oh, yeah, like, uh, well, Westerns in general. Yeah, like El Dorado or um, True Grit or, or three to, uh, 310 to Yuma. Yeah. I think that would make a great game. 
I would, I would take Sergio Leone games, right? Oh, that would be great. Um, or what about Commando? Just make a Commando video oh, game. Commando's yes. already a video game. Why not just do it already? Like, just... Uh, God, really? <laughs> just, like... Just damn it. Fucking <laughs> let me out of here. Oh, my God. Just, Are they still alive? Just yeah. ran for it. <laughs> just throw the gun at him? Yeah. I thought there was only one person left. Well, there was. She just came back. Uh... Because you missed. No, no. There's two. Oh, there's two. Oh, shit. Yeah. Now I got to hide behind this pillar for a little while. Uh, I guess I could always, like, what? Try to roll out. Try to Autobots yeah. out of this shit. Um, shit. <laughs> okay. Why don't you come over here? Take down. Shake down. Yeah. Ooh. Okay. Um, is this person going to shoot me? You might have a better chance ducking and rolling near him. Oh, boy. I don't think this is going to be good. Nope. Yeah, nope. I shot you right in the face. <laughs> uh... <laughs> Stab it. <laughs> <laughs> Just fucking fuck off, all right? Just fuck off. I'm John Wick, all right? Fucking fuck quit off. it, man. <laughs> Look, you guys didn't kidnap my dog, but you did kidnap my friend, so, you know... Kidnap my dignity. All right. I like the little head shake there at the end where it's just like, uh, what? Uh, 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 shake it off. Keep shooting me. Taylor Swift is shit. <laughs> um, this was outraged all right. Well, you know what? We've been going for 40 minutes, and I feel like, you know, if you're watching this to see what's going on with John Wick, you, get, you, got, a, you got a pretty good idea of what's going on with John Wick at this point. So um, I don't know. I think it's all right. The fact that it's only 20 bucks also helps, right? It's not like a full-on game. I would have liked to have seen just a little bit more in the way of upgrade slash mechanic stuff. But then I also feel like I've commented numerous times on how this game like got announced and then put out super fast. So um, and also it's really straightforward. Is I really think that thing. Mike Bithel is like just one guy. <laughs> so fuck. Good yeah. Shot. Shoot him. Oh, he, he left. Um, so yeah, I uh, but it, I don't know. It's, it's all right. Uh, anyway, hit the like, subscribe button. Let us know what you think down in the comments section. Um, yeah. Hey everybody, uh, Patreon's been quite low recently. I'm not sure if this is just the holiday season or what, but um, we're kind of getting to the point where it's getting hard for Jeff to pay his rent. So if you've never been a patron before, uh, now's a great time to start because. Um, you know, we got a bunch of bonus videos. Uh, so Michael and I are getting ready to jump into a new sequential pretty soon. Um, probably, maybe even this week. Um, so it's a good time to help support Rage Select. And also, you know, like, if I can't afford my rent, then I don't have a place to live and record Rage Select. So, you know, that, that, that's, that's the other thing. Um, anyway, uh, we also have some Amazon links in case you would like to help us out in a way that doesn't involve going to Patreon. Uh, if you buy stuff off of Amazon, we get a little chunk of, of the cash for that. And um, yeah, I think that's just about, that's about it. I think that's all the things. Ring the bell. You know you know the YouTube stuff? Do do that. The YouTube stuff. So Ring the bell or Jonah Hex is coming for you. That's right. <laughs> don't, don't. <laughs> Don't, don't, Keanu will come to your house and he'll say, You're beautiful. I or, accidentally <laughs> said Jonah Hex. <laughs> uh, well, John Jonah Wick. Hex, Keanu Reeves, what's the difference? Whichever one comes first. Yeah. Anyway, uh, I'd say, Michael, uh, when you're not over here, where are, are you out in the world? You can sometimes find me on oneofus.net. There you go. They made a new gathering. Yep. Uh, I was, Jeff's on. I was super drunk. Super drunk. So don't hold it against me. Uh, Everyone but, else was, so, you know. Uh, yeah, I, I always get that thing. It's a thing I've suffered from for years. I, I feel like it needs to be like some kind of syndrome, like, oh, man, I was so drunk. Do you guys hate me now? And it's like, no, we were all drunk, stupid. <laughs> um, God damn it. Door? Door to, in, to, 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 like, do you guys live behind that door? How many of you are back <laughs> there? Like, fucking goddamn. Um Anyway, thanks everybody for watching. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow with <laughs> God damn it, <laughs> with more with a different game, more rage like. Thanks, bye. -bye. <laughs>
what's wrong with me. I'll tell you what's wrong with me. You shot my dog, man. You shot my dog. Now you gotta die. You're like, the fuck are you? Or it's the only thing I had left after my wife died. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my wife. I already like My it. puppet wife. <laughs> Jason in a wig. It's my puppet wife. You shot her. I mean, she died of cancer. I don't remember what happened to John Wick. She went to a hotel. She left me a dog and a car and this gun. That's, oh, that's what happened to John Wick. You don't even need to see the movie now. That was what happened to John Wick. I don't think half of those things happened to John Wick. <laughs> Shut up. I gotta shoot you. I'm Jeff Wick. Oh.